You might have heard that a cup of coffee cancels out the effects of alcohol. Well, it's not that straightforward. Here's what really happens. When you start drinking and the alcohol levels in your blood are high, you feel alert. This effect lasts an hour and a half or so. But after that, drowsiness sets in. And this is where caffeine can help. It makes you feel more alert by counteracting the tiredness brought on by alcohol. It also explains why coffee is commonly served in some places after dinner. However, being alert is not being sober. You still have the cognitive deficit caused by drunkenness, and this will only wear off when the alcohol is metabolized by your liver. And a cup of your favorite java will not speed up this process. Actually, there are suggestions that mixing alcohol and caffeine can make things worse. One study of American college students suggested that mixing the two could increase the risk of suffering accidents and injuries. Also, caffeine can make you drink more alcohol. It removes some of alcohol's fatigue, meaning it could fool you to thinking you're sober when you're not. So, if you're drunk, you should just go to sleep. My name's Ayo and I'm a civil engineer working on the maintenance of assets in the Thames Estuary. We're here today at the marvellous Crossness Pumping Station in London, a Grade 1 listed building that features some of the most spectacular ornamental cast ironwork found in the world today. But it's the infrastructure under our feet and the difference it's made to successive generations of Londoners that places us at the centre of the biggest and most compelling story in the history of civil engineering one whose legacy is still felt today. This year marks 200 years since the birth of Joseph Bazalgette, one of the world's most famous civil engineers. The Crossness Pumping Station is now an exhibition centre open to the public. As Bazalgette himself knew, the future of civil engineering relies on building new talent that will ultimately help to overcome huge challenges. And the present challenges, such as climate change, are pretty complex. Civil engineers are responsible for coming up with solutions to some of the world's biggest problems. Therefore, the more people are trained to do the job, the better. We've come a long way since Joseph Bazalgette's birth 200 years ago, and civil engineers continue to play a vital role in building a sustainable world. The anniversary of Joseph Bazalgette's birth gives us an opportunity to recognise the important work they do. So let's celebrate this great engineer, unknown to many, but respected by his peers, for undertaking engineering work on an unprecedented scale in, at the time, the largest city the world had ever known. So join me and follow in Bazalgette's footsteps.